Hey everybody, welcome to the FK1 build series of videos. This particular video is going to walk you through the process of... So hopefully this will help you with this step, or at least kill your curiosity on how this all went together. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Thumbs ups are always appreciated as well. Now watch this. Okay, so I want to talk to you about cutting your aluminum extrusion. And the way that I did it was on a compound sliding miter saw with a non-ferrous metal blade, which I will link that blade in the description below. It was purchased through Amazon. I am not going to go in depth as, as to how to go about cutting it because I really think that that is outside the scope of this project. Even though it needs to be done, I personally don't want the responsibility of walking you through how to cut metal on a saw that was really designed for cutting wood. So if you're not familiar, familiar with how to do it, go ahead and search YouTube. There are other YouTube videos out there um, or, or reach out to somebody who, is, uh, who would be considered knowledgeable in, in the field. So my point of this video is to let you know that the way that I did it was to rough cut the pieces that that needed to be cut to size and for instance the the length on this whatever this is um, these are scraps but if I was going to cut the pieces that are 1400 millimeter I was taking two pieces of 1500 millimeter and putting them together as close as I could get them on one end and then I was using blue painters tape to go ahead and tape around it uh, kind of towards the middle I was trying to keep the tape off of the fence of the saw because the thickness of that of that tape can vary the metal enough where your s s cuts are not going to be straight so uh, I was taping it out off of the fence of the saw these are also very handy because I would I would actually clamp the aluminum together and again off of the off of the fence or it's not going to fit on there but I would put it very lightly this way to kind of pull these together and then I would also put one a little tighter than that apparently let's get that line back up pull that in and then I would put another one this way to lock the aluminum together, making sure that they are as, as even as possible. I would then take one end of that and put it down to the saw blade and cut just, just a hair off of it, maybe a half a blade thickness, if even that much, uh, making sure to lubricate the blade either with wax or WD-40, which is what I used. And, and be forewarned, when you spray the blade with WD-40, as soon as you kick it on, it sprays, but it sprays down onto the aluminum nicely and it allows it to have a nice cut. Now, once you've made that initial really fine shave, all you're doing is making sure that these, you know, that these two pieces at this end are exactly the same length. You're now gonna spin the whole thing around, put it back in your saw, make your measurement, and then and then cut it through to, to size. I don't necessarily suggest cutting too many at one time. I did do uh, I did do four. I did two pieces of 2060 and two pieces of 2040 together at the same time. Uh, but if you think about that that bulk of aluminum the bigger it gets when you're cutting through it, if your blade isn't perfectly squared, it's, it's going to exaggerate through that cut and the, the one on one end is going to be to one extreme and the one on the other end is gonna to be to the other extreme depending on how your blade is out of square. So keep that in mind. Um, but you also have to factor in if you cut them two and two and two and two that you may be cutting each of them differently and certain parts like the cross members there's actually two pieces of 2060 and six pieces of 2040 that all have to be cut relatively the same length so um, it's really going to depend on your saw and how much time you take to 
square that saw up and make sure that it is as right as possible. So again, um, I'll somewhat apologize for not having more detail in this step, but I truly believe that uh, for safety aspect, I would rather you get your information on how to cut this on a miter saw from somebody that is uh, either more professionally trained or more knowledgeable in the field so that I don't give you any wrong information on that. I did, however, record this nice little video of one of the very first cuts, and it gives you a great slow motion action of the amount of aluminum chips flying out of that saw. As you can see, as we cut through this, there is a ton of flake. Aluminum does not spark. It just sends a lot of small shards of aluminum everywhere and it will look like a glitter bomb went off. Make sure that when you do this, you're wearing uh, safety glasses, a face shield, uh, long sleeves preferably, and some type of glove to protect your hand. Now, I'll admit when I cut the aluminum. I was wearing glasses. I did have the face mask on. Um, I was wearing welding gloves that came to about here. So I still had this much arm open. Uh, I did manage to get one tiny little little mark. Uh, it's not extremely hot, but it, it is hot. I had a piece go in my ear as well. But uh, and uh, so just remember safety, safety, safety. All right, so I hope that video was helpful in either assembling your printer or at least, you know, just watching the progress of me build mine. Uh, if there was anything that you didn't understand or if I missed something or made a mistake in something, please go ahead and leave a comment on this video so that I can answer it here and it'll help anybody in the future that might watch this video. Again, we would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you are notified each time that we release not only another series in the FK1 build, but also everything else that we produce. Thumbs ups are always appreciated. If you don't like what we're doing, please let us know. Let us know what we can do to change, because that's the way we grow. We hope you're liking the FK1 series of builds. Let's spam it. Bing. And as always, print on.